Welcome back to the in-depth playthrough of Elden Ring, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD. And today, we're going to start this episode off by talking to our buddy Corinth here, because we picked up some delectable heresies in the last episode. That is a work of heresy. Its incantations bear no lineage from the Earth Tree. Do I look like I give a shit, pal? Gimme. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So, this is the one we want. I don't have quite enough for it, but that's okay. We've got plenty of runes in our savings account. Uh, this one, I'm not so much a fan of. I've tried using it, and I've not found it to be super effective in most scenarios, but this, on the other hand, this is ultra effective. This is much more powerful than the regular flame sling. It's, uh, it's good. It's real good. May the gold... So... Let's do our thing. Let's use a couple rune items here. I can help. And we'll get this guy. And we have enough faith to use it too, so we can equip it right away. And the other thing you'll notice is... Wow, what... Uh, I guess I should just take a minute to explain this to you guys at the beginning of the episode. So, I have officially made the leap to invest in 4K resolution. I bought a new monitor, I bought two different capture cards that both did not work with my setup, so I had to send those back, but I finally found the correct one. My god was it expensive, but I found something that finally lets me do native 4K uh, pass-through and recording at 60 frames per second, because I feel like this game deserves it. I mean, look how good this looks. This resolution that you're watching right now absolutely destroys those 1080 videos that I've been uploading. So, not only does this game deserve more justice, and it deserves to be played in 4K at 60 frames per second, but you guys deserve the option of watching it in that quality too. So, let's do this. We're going to memorize... Mm -hmm. I suppose I could just replace it. So we're not going to need them both. So now we have Heal, this, Assassin's Approach, Poison Mist, and Darkness. And we finally have enough faith to use this, too. No, yeah, let's... Let's kind of experiment. Let's play around with the Frenzy. The Frenzy to Flame. It's pretty cool. So, what I would like to do first, as far as actual gameplay and exploring goes, is I'm going to go to the lift side chamber here. This is the most recent grace that we unlocked that's behind the big guy with a curved sword, who, oddly enough, cannot break the, uh, the big statue out there. I'm gonna have to go lure the giant. And I also got this. Finally got this damn thing after farming this banished knight. And I'll show you guys my run for that if you want. It'll take no time and it's on the way there. So what you wanna do is take this lift Run over the button to make sure it goes back down, because I promise you, you're going to do this a lot, and you're not going to get it on your first try. And in order to get to the knight that is easiest to farm for this shield, up until you get to Kaelid at least, we're going to jump onto this railing. I'm going to do some Batman shit. And then that guy right there, he's the one that you want to fight. So, what I recommend you do is, if you're using Golden Oath or the Halberd, you can take out this damn bird. And yes, Golden Oath will raise the ability that you do, or the it'll raise the damage that you do. Guard counter this guy. And then, what I do is I two-hand the weapon, crouch up behind him, get this backstab, and then... You know what to do. Come on. What are you gonna do? Anything but the fire. There we go. And we got his banished duck feet, is what I call them. So here's what I was looking for, actually. Do I want to go this way? I don't really think I do. I want to go down. I'm trying to get down, down, down. That's what I want to do. 
That's really all I care about at the moment. I want to get back down where the Erd Tree Spirit is. That is where we need to go. And to get there... What's the easiest way to get there from here? Not the pots. Let's see. I unlocked the shortcut. So that would be the easiest way to get there. I did want to show you guys the path, though, to farm that shield. I'll be totally honest with you. When I saw that guy glowing after I killed him, I thought he was going to drop another shield. And that would have pissed me off so much. You have no idea. You would have seen a side of LP that you've never seen before. Because this thing probably took me every bit of an hour to get. It sucked. But it's worth it. Because it looks great. And I'll show you the comparison of the stats real quick. My god, this game looks good in 4K. Jeez. Anyway, stay focused. This one we were using. The Beast Crest Heater Shield, which is an excellent shield. It blocks half of the magic damage that can be thrown at you. It blocks damn near half the fire and holy, and it's not so good with lightning. But this guy right here, um, oddly enough, is even worse with lightning, but this one blocks basically half magic, over half fire, and closer to half of the holy, and it's got more guard boost. The stability right here is what uh, I tend to compare with shields. And this one's got four more points of stability, that may not seem like much, but we're going to keep upgrading it, and with our Barricade Shield ability, it happens to be pretty awesome. What's going on with our eyeballs here? I just noticed that. Oh, never mind. Maybe it's just the lighting. I guess I'm not used to the 4K resolution, because I, I have played games in 4K before, but... How are you doing that? What are you holding on to? I don't like it guys probably can't see. The resolution may have increased, but uh, the brightness really did not. And I know you guys, after rendering and stuff like that, you're not going to see it as beautifully as uh, <clears throat> I'm seeing it, but I'm sure it'll look a hell of a lot better than my other stuff. That's for damn sure. So let's do this. I want to test this out. Wow! <laughs> he didn't stand a chance. That did a lot of damage. I'm about it. Listen, man. I know you were angry in the last episode. Like, you got really pissed off and started breaking shit and throwing things and having a temper tantrum because I ignored you. But I just want you to know, things haven't changed. I still don't give a shit about you. And you are still going to get mad and throw stuff, apparently. No, stop moving. Stop moving. There we go. And you. Let's take care of you too. This is a waste of bolts, man. I should just be going down here and crushing these guys because... Man. The execution. He is awfully fuzzy on the inner wings. I never really noticed that about these guys. Huh. I'm sure if he were to hug you, he would probably be really soft and cozy and probably feel wonderful, but the problem is he would kill you. Okay. And the reason that I'm going back down here, I probably haven't even said that yet, if you're wondering, is because you guys just happen to be really awesome. And you've all been paying attention to the lore and uh, catching me when I miss stuff. And I think that's really great, because this that we're about to look at, this part that we're about to cover, that I have not done before, is uh, really solid. And I missed it in my first playthrough. Like, I completely missed it. I didn't even know that this was here until you guys started telling me. In the in the comments, which... Yeah, yeah. Nope, this thing is like ultimate roll catch. And then we got big boy back here. So let's actually do this. Throwing knife. I don't want to waste our bolts, you know. I wonder how susceptible the rats are to the poison. They should be very, wouldn't you think? Does it mean they're considered a beast enemy? Okay. Yeah, alright. Damn, this rat's got poise. Get the fuck out of here. What is that? What did you drop? A golden rune tier 3. Alright, I'll take that. Nice, nice, nice. 
And then we don't have to worry about killing the damn tree spirit again, thankfully. Mr. Scarab didn't come back. Unfortunate. Alright. So this is what I wanted to go explore. You guys happen to point out in the last video, several of you, which makes me feel bad. How did I miss this in my first playthrough? But y'all pointed out a blood stain to me, which I think I saw it while crawling back up. Here it is. See, I didn't think to pay attention to this thing. I ignored this because, like, when I play online, I don't touch the blood stains. Like, I don't need to know how these folks die because I'm probably going to die the same exact way on that part. But this right here, I play offline, and there happens to be a blood stain here. That's very sneaky of them. It'd be so easy to miss. Oh no. Oh poor Roger. He got hit with the damn death blight. That's what that was. Somebody else pointed out to me that this thing is not petrified. You know why? When you hit it, it still bleeds. So it's not made of stone. It's not petrified. But this thing down here, apparently this creature is what caused that to happen. Man. He got hit with the old chunk of Godwin's face. Crazy stuff. Alright. I wanted to include that in this episode because I've never actually touched that bloodstain or seen that, that happen before, so... Very exciting stuff. So what we're going to do now is the way for us to proceed... This is going to be up these steps here, where these, like, nope birds are. Uh, I will say this. This guy is probably a good way to farm souls. Like, if you can find a way to kill the dog really quick, you can just keep resting at the graves back there over and over again and keep killing this guy. And uh, if you consume, like, the pickled fowl foot or something like that, you can increase your volume of runes that you get. But I farmed him for a minute. He's good... For a temporary method and take to the giant up here who is an excellent method and we're gonna have to lure the giant over there to get that item too so we'll be back to deal with these guys in a bit i absolutely hate these things so unfortunately we fat roll if we use this but uh i'm not gonna need to dodge you see where i'm coming from on this Yeah. Fuck you. Oh my god, how did that not kill him in one hit? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, whatever. We do our thing and guard counter. One guard counter actually won't kill these with our one of these things with our weapons, so unfortunately this is just the best way to deal with them. Try to do as much damage as you can. Damn it. Try to do as much damage as you can before they get near you. How in the fuck did that not blast through every single one of those barrels? I'm disappointed. Oh, that's so satisfying to use, though. Go back to this guy. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> Don't want to deal with you. We'll go up these steps right here. There should be an item, and these guys are going to be resting here. There shouldn't be any other enemies. There should just be this guy only. We'll take care of him. It's an axe guy, so be careful. Nice. Tier 2 smithing stones. The hell, man? What is that? It's just leaking down. Literally looks like somebody just puked down the wall. And then right there, too, it's... Yee, that does not... <laughs> that looks like something else. A different fluid. What is the point of this? You can't make the jump, can you? You can! Wow. So what's the point, then? How strange. Okay. So, let's do this. Uh, <clears throat> this guy. Fine. If you won't, then I will. You nerd. Get our golden rune, and there's no more birds, thankfully. We do have another golden seed up here, a big win. But then we have the giant over here with a couple more of those guards. Let's go talk to this NPC, though. Let's get this quest line going. Proud. You were a fine warrior. Your only mistake was your choice of master. Let the winds lift you. 
to a higher place. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. I don't know who this guy is uh, to you, but uh, I do know that I must engage you. Well, who do we have here? Tarnished, are you? Clearly not one of Godric's lot. I am Nefeli Lu. Tarnished and warrior like you. I'm here by decree of my father. How utterly repellent this is. This grafting of Godric's ill befits a lord. He's tainted the very winds. So... This is not going to matter at all to you if this is your first time going through this game because you're still going to be learning who the NPCs are and trying to memorize their names because there's twice as many NPCs in this game as there are in any other Souls game. And it's kind of hard to keep track of them, but her last name is Lou, and this is significant because the cutscene in the beginning, the very first Tarnished of the Great Tarnished or whatever that's mentioned, is Horalu, and that would make her his daughter, but... That's not the case. You'll see when we get back to the round table hold and we start talking to her more and furthering her quest line. She actually says that Gideon is her dad and he says that it's it's her daughter. It's his daughter and it's it's just fucking weird. If you intend to challenge Godric, I ask you call upon me. The winds run foul with his deeds. I'm certain father would permit me aid the fight. Apologies, but I've idled long enough. As fellow tarnished, we must each follow our own guidance, down whatever road takes us to the throne of Elden Lord. Apologies, as fellow down whatever... Alright, so this guy that she has killed looks like one of the banished knights, and damn, that's a... That's a hell of a cup you got there, man. Shit. Anywho, um... That's as far as her dialogue goes. She's going to disappear as soon as we rest at her grace. And there's going to be one up here. And I'm pretty sure there should be an item there. Let me turn this on. Let me try to be conscious. Conscientious. Of your guys' viewing pleasure. Okay, what else do we got here? Can't get in there. I know there's an item in here, I recall. Don't stand up. Bam, another tier two stone. Won't catch any complaints from me. So, let's see. The grace is going to be past these guys. So, ooh, that guy has yellow eyes. Let's do this. Oh no. Damn giant. Okay, whatever. I just want to kill this guy. <laughs> yes, that's fine, Mr. Giant. I just want to kill you. There we go. Let me get those extra runes, boy. And then here's the boss gate going to Godric, and then we want this. So let's go ahead and rest at this grace. And this is right across from the pots. Or the jars. Yeah, they're jars. I keep calling them pots, but they are indeed jars. So this is a great spot to farm, by the way. I was just mentioning this. You can run out here and use something like Horfrost Stomp or something like that, which is a weapon art that we will get, and I will show it off to you guys. It's not as good as it used to be. They actually nerfed it really hard in the patch. But here is her summon sign. Just like she said, make sure to summon her during uh, the, the, God, the Godric battle. Um... I'm not going to, because you don't have to, in order to get her quest line forward. Holy shit, it's dark. It's nighttime up in here. So let's do this. I'm going to go back here, and this is only going to take a second. So here's what I'll do. I'll dispose of this guy. Because we're gonna have to. We gotta get rid of him for sure. So let me get the dog's attention. Oh, come on. Now, unfortunately, when you attack this dog, sometimes he comes running. So you need to be ready for that. You do this, though. 
get a free backstab on him. I'll pull him up here. He's not very susceptible to the strike damage that we do. Oh, that worked though. But the bleed is what we want. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, yeah. No, no. You jerk. And I don't know if he drops that sword. That's something that's probably worth looking into. Shit, I'm running low on bolts. Uh, okay, no, I'm not. Uh, is that a fire barrel that he's on? I don't think it is. Let's do this. Get this guy down here. Get a little bit of a uh, barricade shield going. I don't think so. Jeez, this is the worst. I can't even kill these guys in one guard counter. No. Don't cause me any trouble. I don't deserve it. Okay. You. Yeah, I'm looking at you, man. I'll waste my bolts on you. Fuck off. Oh, that's the worst. What a bunch of dog shit. No. Oh, we got another Warhawk Talon. <clears throat> we can power stance them now if we want. That's pretty cool. I don't know why you're looking over there, man. Got a confessor running full speed at you with a freaking flail. <laughs> oh, you're still here. Apologies, as fellow down whatever. That's weird. I could have swore she would have been gone. Well, that's all right. So let's do this. Let's pull these guys one at a time. Oh damn, that was a good shot. <laughs> Oh, hell no. No. Here we go. Let's stay crouched. And not be stupid. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's it. Go that way. There's some over there. You big dummy. Yeah, there we go. Come on. That's it. It was me. It was me. It was me. I was the gunman on the grassy knoll. Are you kidding me? I was barely not fast enough for that. Alright, come here, Mr. Giant. I need you to chase me. You're going to break this statue down here for me so I can get my upgrade stones, and that's all there is to it. I don't want to hear any ifs, ands, or buts. Come on, we're almost there. Just a little further. Uh, you can get angry if you want. It's perfectly fine. Let's go. You can be mad while also doing my bidding. It's perfectly possible. We're almost there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Come on. Just a little further. Nice. Cool. We got five tier ones and a tier two. I'm perfectly all right with that. Now we need to get the hell out of here. <clears throat> I suppose it'd be perfectly fine to kill him. But I really don't feel like it. It'll take forever. Come on, man. Let bygones be bygones. Okay. Very nice. 
Okay, we are not done though. So now what we need to do is we need to go to the other side of the field, which is, uh, there's going to be another enemy over there that's pretty, pretty tough. We've not encountered them yet, but they are not easy at all. So what I need to do is I'm going to go back to the lift side chamber and the best way that we can do this Sorry if you can hear my computer on my audio, it's turning into a jet engine over here. I figured if I have the rig, right? Like, I mean, if I have the, if I have the capacity to be able to record things at 1080, or not 1080, God, at 4K, 60 frames per second, why wouldn't I, right? But the problem is the workload for my computer is significantly larger, like, I would say damn near triple. It's working very hard. It's breaking a hell of a sweat here doing this. So it's a bit loud and you might hear it. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that you guys can't see as well as I can see in these videos. And I need to start remembering that. Okay, let's be smart about this. I'm going to get rid of you. Great. And then we will get rid of the other one right here. You know, we could do. Do I have fire pots? I don't. Let's make some. And we'll make four. Just for now. Let's do this. Wow, that didn't work at all. How about this? There, that worked. These things scale. I've never even looked at that. They do. They scale with a B in strength and a D in dex. All right. It's perfectly fine. So... Let's do this. Don't shoot me, you motherfuckers. Not worried about that guy. Let me get down here and do some of the fighting over this way. Okay, if you're sneaky, those guys will not hear you after you kill their buddy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get a jump on this guy. Let's see if we can hit him with our black flame. Nice. Well, uh, that didn't work at all. Alright. Just completely missed. <laughs> okay. What in the fuck? I tell you, my lock-on has been real finicky lately. I don't know why. There we go. Shield barricade saves the day. What's new? Don't want anybody to use this. So I'm gonna break it. Sky. More Kukri, thank you. Those are a wonderful idea. They'll be great for this part. You can only carry 30 at a time, but believe me when I say that's enough. Alright, let's do this. I know that this part is just an absolute fucking nightmare if you don't do it right. So, there they go. Yep. So let's see, what do I want to do? I guess I should probably try to get up there to the bridge. That'd probably be a better better strategy for this part. Without being too obvious, you know. Okay. So let's do that. Let's head up. And to... Ooh, an item. How did I miss this? Eight mushrooms, that's a lot. Goodness. So, the way we want to do this is... Mm-hmm. Well. Without alerting the big guy. Why don't we do this? Oh, you fucking... That was annoying. Alright, um... 
trying to think of what I want to do. You really want to get there from the other side. Like, that is for sure true. So why don't we do this? The easiest way I can think of to get there is to start here at the Rampart Tower. Because we only have one more major area to cover in Stormvale. You know what? Here, let's... Let's do this. I feel like this entire episode has been nighttime, and... Instead of having to keep remembering to put on the lantern... I'll just force it to be daytime. Oh, I am out of bolts, man. Think not. Alright, and you will deal with you our favorite way. And you can run past these guys. It's really no problem to run past them, but I don't know. I kill them because... I don't like them. And I think that they deserve to die. I mean, come on, just look at them. They're literally birds with swords for feet. They're, and they throw these exploding barrels like their entire purpose of their existence is trash. And highly inconvenient to us. So they can suffer. All right, this is what we want right here. And let me actually talk to Roger again. Because I... Oh, he's gone. All right, he is at the round table hold then. So I wonder if touching the blood stain is what activated that. Interesting. All right, this part, we know what to do here. This is... This is easy. We'll clear this with some Kukri. Come on now. You do your thing. And turn around. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> the Kukri does a lot of damage. I'm about it. Yeah, there we go. I'm not going to buff. I don't need to. Take this guy down like this. run through here. Okay, and the only thing we should deal with now is... I don't even think we have to fight the other Banished Knight. There should just be some uh, some of these regular enemies. Like this guy. Yeah, it should just be regular enemies through here. And then the other Banished Knight is in there. We could just jump down. I suppose there's nothing stopping us. There's some dogs right here. Man, I swear the dogs are, like, often more durable than the knights. <laughs> These are perfect for this part. We'll drop down here so we don't have to deal with some of that other stuff. And let's do this. Oh, that's right. We unlocked that lift. I could have just taken the, the damn lift down. See, that's, that is like... Truly, therein lies the problem. <laughs> with having like... God knows how many shortcuts. And here we are back here. So what was I trying to do then? I guess not this. Weird. Alright, let me go up this way. Yeah, get out of here. Ooh. Yeah. Come on. 
There we go. Don't really need to kill this guy, but I'm gonna. Nice, he gave me some bolts. It was worth it. It's occurring to me that it's probably still difficult to see on this part. Hmm. Funny. I better switch to that thing that also won't beat this guy. <laughs> That's about how that went. Alright, I need to... Let's see. Um... What am I trying to do here? I'm trying to get to... Here, let's start here again. God, it's so easy to get turned around in here, especially because I haven't, I haven't played in like three days. Um, I'm getting a little bit derpy right now, but... Cannot make that jump. I've tried a thousand times. Don't ever try. But that's essentially where I'm trying to get right now. Is I'm trying to get over there. Maybe we go... That's right. That's right. It's all coming back to me. Um, don't know why, but I'm very behind on this episode. Okay. Yeah, this is what I need. Dispose of this gentleman. Take his belongings. A smithing stone. All right. And then we'll go out here and we'll take care of this bunch. Well, we really don't need to. They're not going to be able to follow us once we are up and about. Yeah. No, sorry, dude. Doesn't matter. Yeah, here we go. They shouldn't be able to follow. Hold on. I gotta watch this. There's no freaking way. Okay. Good. Holy shit, I was gonna get mad. <laughs> okay, and then this asshole. I did it again! Ugh! got him. <laughs> How did I do that twice in a row, man? Golden Vow, <laughs> it makes you step forward. And yikes. Okay, this is what I was trying to get to. Um, yeah, we're going to go up here. No, not that way. We want to go the other way. We want to get right here. So essentially what I'm trying to do here is there's another area that has this big, uh, like, cat enemy. And uh, he's bad news. He's got big, big blade on his arm. And uh, it's like, it's like an entirely separate field. But what it does is it allows you to approach this area from the other side. And that's the appeal that we're going for, is we can approach from the other side. And that's good, because then we're going to be behind the people that are trying to shoot the living shit out of us. So let's... I suppose this would be an ample spot to drop down. This should be fine. Okay, let's do this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bubble up because this part can get real bad. Could create this guy. Oh! Thank God for Barricade Shield, man. It's so good. Yeah, give me them butterflies. They're better off in my inventory, and you know it. Okay, what's over here? Okay, 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 okay. And then that's just a drop down to the statue. Yes, yes, yes. See, this this part... I'm telling you. Ah, there we go. There's where I'm... Uh-huh. And then this should lead us back around the other side. Yes, indeed. No, no, no. 
I think not. None of you will have me, because I'm not trying to get got. Okay, here we go. Hello. Excellent. And then this is going to be where... Oy-yay-yay. Alright, so that's where all that bullshit is. This is going to be where the dual knights are. And man, does that suck. So this is just a different perspective of what we already did. We're directly above the group of enemies we fought. And we stopped right where Mr. Axe is right here. Because that is perfect, uh, perfect positioning to get shot to pieces by that guy over there. So, here's what I would like to do for this part. We're going to be smart, and we're going to use our resources. Because I didn't buy this thing and start upgrading it for nothing. You know what I mean? So, in order to make this as easy as possible, we're just going to do this. And miss. We're going to miss completely, because that's... Yeah. There we go. And then there's another one. Where's the other one at? I think he's on this cliff right here that we're looking at. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, no. I'm not going to mess with those guys. I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing it. There he is. Hey. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's do this, huh? Yeah, that's it. I'm here. What the fuck? How did I miss right there? Weird. Okay, we'll pick up our goodies here in this field. We got some more sleepy time herbs. Like the tea. And then for this part, it really doesn't matter if we pick these guys off stealthily because the whole thing with these guys, or the reason you don't want them to see you, is because of the giant ballista shooters. And we dealt with them. Those guys are done. They're toast. So it really doesn't matter if these guys blow their horn or not. Hi. Mine's better. And I don't need this on anymore because I don't want a fat roll. Alright, and now there's nothing stopping us from jumping down here and just doing our thing. And there's an Urba up there. I don't think I'm going to go grab that. But I do want to jump across here. And get this, and then the actual item. Bam, the Arbalist. So that thing is just about as heavy as what we've already got. This thing is one unit heavier. But uh, it doesn't have as good a range, but I do know that this one starts with pretty comparable base damage to this, uh, to this crepish black key crossbow. It's, it's not as good, in my opinion. I think that the, the black key one is better, but if you don't use your stone keys to get it in the beginning of the game, this is highly comparable to it. It does almost as much damage. And then there shouldn't be anything else up here. Not to my knowledge, at least. And then, yeah, the only thing up there is just that herba. Okay, good. Grab this. Stormhawk feather. So we can make more of those arrows later, if we so choose. Okay, now let's do this. Kill that guy in one hit. Kill this guy in one hit. Oh man, these Kukris are making this real easy. I love it. They half kill that guy. <laughs> Not to where we can just finish him. And the nice thing is in this area, everybody has their back to you. It's great. You know, we have we literally have the whole exile set now. That's pretty funny. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak off to the side here. Okay, pick up our goodies. So there's the enemy that I was talking about. This guy is bad. 
bad news. We'll zoom in a little bit. We can see him in 4K. So he's got that big blade on his arm, and he's got like this big white hair, and he's covered in these chains, and he's got these shackles that have an interesting look. But uh, and he also seems to have like antlers. Like it's almost like whatever whatever version of him exists in the wild that's like untampered with probably has horns and stuff growing out of it, which is really cool. So he's like half, you know, dragon, half tiger lion thing like he's very cool is what i'm trying to say and i like the big white mane um there's a specific way to fight this guy too that uh, if you well if you don't want to die that is but i'm going to show you the sissy way of fighting him and i will also show you the uh the crazy brass balls way of fighting him and then here these statues don't come alive, I promise. It's, you're having like Dark Souls 2 flashbacks, right? Like the way to the Mirror Knight, how the, the, the horse gargoyle things with the stone twin blade and stone shields come to life. I thought the same thing. So we're going to go do this. You really don't need to come this way until after you beat Godric. And uh, we haven't beat him yet, so... Pick up this it's, uh, for lightning defense. And then we'll have some stone golems that come alive here. And you can run straight past them if you want. We're going to end up fighting them. But there's no need for us to go down that way yet. Because you, uh, as I just mentioned, you really don't need to come down this way until after you beat Godric. I just want to grab the grace. And I want to clear this area out in front of it before we fight Godric. Man, I wish there was more to this room. I wish it was like a lift or something like that. I mean, it kind of is, but can't use it. All right. Oh, hey, he saw me. Cool. So, he won't come in here. That's like the easy way to fight this guy is you just lure him out in front. And for some reason, he cannot get in this room. Like, he can fit. I don't know. He can, he can totally get in here if he wanted to, but for some reason, he doesn't want to. So, this guy dodges. He's, uh... This is, like, the easy way to fight him, is to just throw the Kukri. And throwing the Kukri, he will dodge occasionally, but if he's in the middle of an attack, he won't. But the Kukri, you can uh, proc a bleed on him if you keep throwing the Kukri. And that's kind of what I do. I like to do bleed on this guy, because bleed, as we know, is a percentage. And the Kukri, on top of the bleed damage that it will do, also hits really hard, so if I can hit him. My aim is fucking terrible, though. I don't know what's going on with that. Alright, so let's switch to this. Let's wait for him to attack. There we go. Hit him with some fire. Alright, and it does damage over time. Isn't it wonderful? Let me make some more fire bombs. Well, I can't. That's okay. Let's equip another throwing item in place of it. You know what? This is a great opportunity to play around with, uh... Well, I don't have any sleep pots. That's fine. Alright. Anyway, let's do this. So if you want to fight this guy... Shield Barricade, for one, is your best friend. He hits pretty hard, and he has, like, crazy spinneroo attacks, and he hits pretty hard. <laughs> so essentially what you want to do when you're fighting this guy is, if you don't do the Kukri method or whatever, just block, and you can guard counter some of his attacks, just not all of them. And not many of his attacks leave him open. Like, you'll you'll see, he jumps around and attacks a lot. Now he's he's open after some of them, but not all of them. Alright, let me heal. Get my guard going. Two. There we go. That's the one you want to hit him after, that three-hit combo. You can usually hit him right in the face. So we get a somber smithing stone, some beast blood, and two old fangs from that guy. And he is likely going to be the first that you encounter of his kind. And he's not guarding anything. There's no item back here. 
I suppose the reward is uh, what you get for actually beating him. But he ends up being a pretty regular enemy later on. Like, I know there's one part where you end up having to fight two of them at once, and it's uh, it's kind of bogus. So, I will make six this time, and I want to make two sleep pots, because we're going to play around with the sleep pots a little bit and experiment more with those. So, let me shoot this guy. And the other one, looks like we don't have his attention, that's good. There we go. And then he should be the only one on this side of the, the path. And we'll go get this guy. Well, before I grab that guy, maybe we can do this. Let's try to get like a... Let's get like a multi-kill or something. Let's really try to be efficient with our, our fire bombs, you know? Oh no. Now I've done it. Well, that theory's out the window. That's alright. We can still steamroll these guys. Oh, wow, never mind. They piled up in a corner anyway. That's hilarious. <laughs> There's some efficiency. Nice, and we got another smithing stone and some more butterflies. I'm about it. Don't kick me. Fuck. Man, I wanted to get that charged hit on him bad. Dick. Alright, that part. Good lord. Alright, so more ballistas. More ballistas, right? Of course there are. Um, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from just blasting them, you know? I mean, there's one more item over here that we can get, and, uh... We'll go get it real quick. Why don't I do this, though? Just so that guy doesn't blow the horn. Are you kidding me? There we go. Let's get some efficiency going, huh? Alright, so these guys. Come on. Lock on. Lock on, please. Please. Doesn't look like he cares at all that I'm shooting him, which is great. Because they can't aim over here. Nice try. Okay, there's one. And I know there's more, though, so we gotta be careful. Ooh, I hear him. He's shooting at me. I think one of them just manned the same cannon again. That's probably what happened. Alright, so let's do this. No? It's a different guy. Oh, he's up there! Okay. That's fine. I can still shoot him. Oh, man. Why does it not do enough damage? <laughs> Goodness. There we go. That's what I needed. Those are the results I wanted. And then we'll sneak up and murder this guy. Oh, hi! More of you are there. That's fine. Hi. You asshole. Oh, we got the torch pole. <laughs> this thing's worth checking out, I promise. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. So, the torch pole. I did pick one up already because I was farming off screen for that damn shield, and that's when I got it. Torch fastened to a long pole. Lights up dark areas, but cannot be raised overhead. Used by soldiers on watch, its attacks set foes aflame. So yeah, it's got 104 base damage, 31 fire damage, and it scales with 2Ds. And it's pretty cool. Like, it's just like a regular spare weapon, but... Yeah pretty awesome and then it's got charge fourth which i don't have any fp and i have no way to get fp other than my consumables which i'm not going to use just to show you a silly ability on a silly weapon so 
Let's use our eyeballs here, huh? We are crouched. But we gotta find for the last... We gotta find the last guy that is... There he is. Alright, here we go. So let's do this. Let's try to hit him in the head. Let's try to be as efficient as we can. A little bit of sniper action going here. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Alright. That, to my knowledge... Yeah. This game just loves for me to be wrong. <laughs> I see you. Fine. Fine, if we must. I'm gonna shoot your ass. There we go. Oh, come on. Look at your health, man. How do we keep getting into these scenarios where we have exactly not enough? Come on, I'm not trying to kill them. The mechanism. I'm not trying to kill the mechanism. Okay, okay. There we go. <clears throat> How about that? Was that the last one? It appears so. Alright. So now that we've dealt with that ordeal, there should only be one item up here. Maybe two. I think there's one right here. Look at that. And then there should be like one more just above here. There it is. Nice. Another tier 2 stone. I'll take it. Yeah, give me that mushroom. So, this part, uh, we we scaled this in the last episode, and we could have dropped down right here to pursue this part, but you don't want to do that. I promise you, if you're going to go through this part and you want to clear this second sort of field area, what you want to do is uh, you want to approach it from the back, like we did. It's just way, way smarter. It's more efficient. And now, we can loot these items freely without getting shot to pieces. There we go, some ballista bolts. I like that. Golden rune. And a golden rune. So, as I mentioned, not worth dying for. Not in the slightest. But, if you can get them freely, like we just did without dying and by using strategy, that's when it's worthwhile. And now we're going to pick up our very last grace before the boss fight. So we'll grab this guy. Pick up this item, a tier 5. Now that's a good one. And this does not activate. Whoa, it does? Are you kidding me? I keep learning more and more things. I guess it's because the gate wasn't open. I did not know that you could open the gate yourself. That's awesome. Holy shit. Wow, I love learning new things. That's so cool. And then the commoner's simple guard. This is the uh, armor that the guy who is down below us is wearing. And after you get to this grace, which couldn't hurt to rest, now we can drop down. And he's going to be a merchant for us. you safe. I've come into some fine goods. Only it turns out I can't use a one of them. Perhaps you'd like to take them off my hands. Well, I mean, maybe. And then you can still do the dialogue where you tell him that you want to use the gate and he'll open it for you or he'll signal somebody to open it. But uh, this is what we want. Right here, give me these ballista bolts. I want them. Not really worried about great arrows. I mean, I couldn't hurt to buy them, but I don't want to use a great arrow. And he sells the buckler, which is one of the better smaller shields for parrying. And then he also sells the bandit garb, all three pieces. And I don't recommend buying it. It's kind of heavy and doesn't really have the best defense. But he does have these, and these boost your item discovery. We gotta remember that he has these, because we're gonna probably want to buy them later. 
Then you can buy some other crafting materials, PvP item, and ruin fragments. But yeah. Fairly well, I pray. He does not have a talk dialogue, though. So now what we're going to do is we want to go to the secluded cell. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a great place to end. So, what we're going to do in the next episode is we are going to trot on through and we're going to destroy Godric. Um, I do feel that I may have fumbled a little bit in this episode, like uh, getting kind of turned around and trying to remember where some of the stuff is. But uh, I'm also going to continue playing around with 4K settings with the rendering. I'm going to experiment and try some new stuff. And uh, what I really want to do, my end goal, is I just want to give you guys the best viewing experience. I want it to look as good as possible so you guys can really take hold of these graphics and the insane amount of work that went into this game as far as the visual aspect goes, which is a lot. So... Thank you guys so much for joining me on today's episode of the in-depth playthrough of Elden Ring. Uh, make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. That does help me a lot. It'll help give me a boost in the algorithm. I've been your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and I will catch you guys in the next video.